common complaint I hear from a lot of advertisers is that Facebook is overestimating the number of conversions it's actually generating compared to their Google Analytics account, compared to their CRM, what have you. So today I want to talk about a couple of reasons that it might look like Facebook is overcounting your conversions. So the first thing I want you to do is go back, spend a little bit of time, and make sure that your pixel is installed properly. It's not missing on pages, it's not added twice on some other pages. Make sure that that's all squared away. Now the second reason that something might be going wrong, or it looks like something might be going wrong, has to do with Facebook attribution. So let's hop in and see how Facebook counts conversions, whether it's view through or click through conversions, and some ways we can get around that. When thinking about attribution on Facebook, one thing we need to know is that Facebook uses what's called a last click attribution model, which has a number of different implications, but one of them means that when somebody clicks on multiple ads from a Facebook ad account, Whichever one was the last one, or the one right before the conversion action, that's the one that's going to get credit. So in an account, let's say I was targeted with a prospecting ad, and I later clicked on a remarketing ad and converted. Facebook is going to give credit to that remarketing ad in the platform. So you're going to see one conversion be added to the remarketing campaign, not to the prospecting campaign, because the remarketing ad was the last click that was registered. The problem with this when it comes to how Facebook is tracking conversions versus your CRM is that Facebook is only paying attention to Facebook touch points. It's not paying attention to other channels. So let's say we have a similar ad campaign set up where we have a prospecting ad that I clicked on, didn't convert. I have a remarketing ad that I click on, go to the website, don't convert. But then I later get hit with an email and I do convert on that email. Your CRM is going to track that email as the conversion point, but since Facebook doesn't pay attention to emails because it doesn't care, you don't have an email campaign in your ad account, it's gonna give credit to the remarketing campaign because that was the last click before somebody converted on your ad. This is one way that Facebook might be overestimating the conversions you see. So I would suggest going into your CRM or Google Analytics account checking all of the different touch points before that conversion took place and seeing if Facebook is one or a few of those touch points before another channel converted and then adjust your Facebook numbers to reflect how many conversions it touched but didn't influence on the last click and see if that helps to mitigate some of the discrepancy between your platform and the Facebook platform. That's one main way that Facebook will quote unquote overcount conversions because it simply doesn't have the insight into the email campaign the way your CRM or Google Analytics does. The last way that Facebook can overestimate conversions for you compared to a different platform has to do with the attribution model on the account. So when you're in your Facebook ads account, if you come up into the main navigation and you click settings, not business settings, this is for your business manager, but you click settings for the ad account itself, It'll bring you to a page that looks something like this. And what we want to focus on is this box over here in the upper right, where it talks about the attribution model. You can see that it then reiterates that Facebook uses last touch attribution model, but then it has an attribution window down here. And the Facebook default is 28 days click, one day view. The biggest issue I see with a discrepancy between the Facebook platform and a CRM has to do with this one day view on your Facebook ad account. This is really easy to change. You can just click edit, you can come down here and select the drop down of click instead of click and view, and then it will basically take away any of the view attribution. You can then also adjust this to be seven days instead of 28 days. You can make it one day if you want to. But for the sake of this account, and for the most part, I'm gonna suggest that you pretty much always keep that one day view as the default attribution. The reason why has to do with how Facebook optimizes. If you have an account that barely meets or is only just barely over or even under the 50 conversions per week suggested minimum of conversions for optimization of a Facebook account, I do not recommend that you turn off view attribution. You're basically taking data away from the Facebook platform that it will use to optimize the account. If you have an account that has lots of conversions and you're just raking them in like all of us really want to, then it might make sense for you to change your attribution model and take away that view window. But know that when you do that, you're still taking data away from Facebook and it will still adjust how the Facebook account optimizes. So you could see some fluctuations in performance shortly after you make that change. If you don't have the volume that you need and you think that you should probably keep the one day view in your default attribution, and I would say that if you have any question at all, keep it added in there, there is a way that you can still see the difference in performance in your Facebook ads account. So taking a look at this account, this account had about 1100 mobile app installs registered for this account. 
let's say that we don't see that many on the platform that are attributed to Facebook and we're trying to figure out why Facebook is overestimating. There's a really simple way to do this is simply by clicking the columns, choosing customize columns, then you have the regular columns editor that you can see here, but down in the bottom right, there's an attribution window section. It's already set up to 28 day click, one day view in the same way that the default attribution is on the Facebook account. You can click this comparing windows, then it will open up an area where you can choose what attributions you want to view and view them separately. For the sake of breaking apart the default attribution in the account, you can have 28 day click and one day view. I'm gonna leave the default attribution window and then click apply. It effectively broke our results column into three different views. And the ones that we wanna pay attention to are this view attribution and click attribution. Now we can see that this 1100 mobile app installs is actually a summation of 106 view attributions and just a little over a thousand click mobile app installs. So if you sum those two up, it gets you to 1137. So this is one way that you can come in and check aside from your, using your CRM to see how many touch points Facebook had, come in here and separate your view conversions from your click conversions and see if the click number matches much more closely to your CRM. Odds are it will. I would say always give anywhere from 10 to 15% of flexibility compared to this click number and your CRM. If this 1031 is within a 10 to 15 percent range of what you're seeing within your CRM, I would count that as a success and say everything is working properly. If you're outside of that range, if you're coming closer to 20, 30, 40 percent more than that, then something certainly seems to be wrong and we need to do a little bit further investigating. But for the most part, I would guess that 90 percent of you just need to come in here, check this click attribution, and that'll solve all your issues. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 